Ryan here, Brick Bat Dad, and in this video I'm going to show you how to build a Lego computer screen. Now this thing on the one hand doesn't, doesn't look real impressive. It's, and it's less like a computer screen and more like a window in this form, right? You just, it's just a square and you can see through it. But for me, this was key to creating a couple of back computers um, that I'm working on. I'm actually working on a giant back computer. I haven't figured out exactly how big it's going to be, but I wanted the computer screens to animate. And so I kind of, I needed essentially a stage, um, and this has become the stage for, for those, those pieces. So basically, um, there aren't huge window pieces that Lego makes. And so this essentially becomes that, a large window. And then I put whatever scene or moving scene inside here that I want, moving or not moving, it doesn't need to move. Um, but it provides a nice sheet of glass. And then, um, and then you can put whatever you want in the computer and have whoever you want viewing it. For me, it's always Batman, and he's you know he's viewing various things, um, but it's always Batman, and it's always a bat computer. Because I just build Batman, I'm stuck in a bit of a rut. But you can build this for anything you want. So the key to this thing is basically these uh, transparent flags. Um, we need to build a frame that lets us organize these flags so that they create a nice smoothish surface. So there needs to be some specific dimensions to do that. This particular one is 14 studs on the inner dimension. The reason that, the, that this side dimension here needs to be 14 is so that these flags line up perfectly end to end. Um, once you clip them in and bend them over and put them end to end, it, 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 and that was the key for me with this, this build is figuring that out, that when you put those in the end, um, that, that they, they look perfect. Originally, I tried uh, not bending the flags over and having the clips straight, which was silly because the, the bar uh, had a half a stud in there, and so it was difficult to get them to line up, but you just simply bend them over and then it worked. Anyways, so that needs to be 14 studs, and I don't think there's any other trick to make that side of this computer screen longer. And then this dimension, can be as long as you want. You can make a super, super long display, but I think it uh, gets a little weird. I, I chose this size because um, I thought it was about the aspect ratio of a widescreen TV, um, you know, not quite double um, on this dimension versus this. Uh, and so I think it looks convincing, more convincing when it's the right aspect ratio. It looks more convincing as a monitor. Um, but I think you could push it out a little further and it could be more like a movie screen size uh, aspect ratio and still still be a convincing uh, monitor. But anyways, so this dimension just needs to be, the only requirement here is that it needs to divide by three because these flags, uh, these transparent flags are three studs wide and we need to fit an even, or not an even, but we need to fit some number of them across here without leaving a gap at the end or the beginning. It needs to divide by three. So this particular width I chose is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times three, uh, 24. So basically we're gonna start out with these, with these right angle brackets and we're gonna put two one by four plates on each of these brackets. And then once we've got that, we're going to put our 1 by 14 on top of it. And the reason we're, we're using two plates everywhere is that's going to give us an opportunity to put lift arms across to make this really strong um, in, in the next step. Okay, so the 1 by 14s, because that was the height we needed for this to be so that the flags fit perfectly. And then we'll use the 1 by 16s here to do the rest of the width. And on one side, we'll use two plates, two 1 by 10 plates. And then on the other side, we'll use 1 by 8 plates, two of them stacked up. And what that'll do is when we use this 1 by 16, 
Um, the, the reason we used the one by 10 is it, it gives us, it goes, it gives us the ability to reach all the way over with the one by 16. So it's supported on both sides. And then we just finish with the one by eight. Okay. So that's the basic frame structure. Now we've got, you could go ahead and build this in brick and you wouldn't, wouldn't even need the plates. And that's, that's fine. Um, but because we put the two plates between the two layers of bricks, that gives us a chance to use these lift arms. Um, and we'll just put a bunch of these in. in uh, I like to put them where the bricks end uh, because that's where they tend to peel off. But you can, uh, you can play with different places, putting the lift arms to... Um, like what I like to do is um, when I think I've got it in enough places that it's not going to fall apart, just start twisting it and see if it falls apart. And if it does, put put some more lift arms um, in those in those places and then twist it again. See see if you can get to the point where it's pretty pretty strong and doesn't come apart. Um, okay, and so. Once you've got uh, once you've got all the lift arms in place, it can it, it's starting to look a little bulky. Like that's one reason you might decide to to not to not go kind of the route that I'm that I'm going here with Technic. Um, but I kind of like the look. I think it looks a little industrial. I mean, I'm, I'm partial to you kind know, of the raw Technic look um, to some extent. But I think it looks, you know, kind of like a industrial type computer. Um, but if you're going, for, if you want a more sleek, thin design, then yeah, do it. It won't be as strong. Um, but but you could totally just do just as long as the the flags line up and you got that surface, then uh, I think it, it could look good. Okay, so once we've got all the the lift arms put across this thing, um, and it's nice and strong, we can start putting these flags on. And so it's basically, uh, I like to put the clips on the flags, um, and then put put them put it on the on the shape, just so that I don't so that I don't have to use my brain. I don't have to think about uh, put putting them every other clip. We're putting putting one, then putting two clips and then more. But um, so as you can see when we've got we've got one on each side, they they fit perfectly and create this surface. Um, it looks nice, nice and clean. So uh, a tip we're, we're, it's an optional tip, but um, these flags they they are elevated above the the brick surface, the frame that we created. They're elevated by one and a half plates. So that um, half plates, you know, uh, make me cringe um, sometimes. But there's always an opportunity actually when when there's half plates. Um, and um, in this case, that the studs are half a plate tall. So. We simply can put a plate here and these flags and lay down these flags. The reason we do this, we might choose to do this, is um, there, how many were there? Like 16 of these flags on here and they're all kind of adjusted carefully and um, they, can, they can get out of whack and then it, it breaks our illusion that we've got a, a surface here, a screen surface. So, um, so I like to I like to try to give them some support. You'll still fiddle with them a little, but putting putting some support here and there so the flags kind of don't it limits the range and keeps them more likely to be in the right position. Um, so you can just lay a plate like there, but if you don't like the exposed stud issue, then what you can do is put in these put in some uh, of these pin st pins with stud. I'm not sure what these guys are called, but they. You put this pin in, and then you've got a stud where you had a hole, and then uh, you put a you put some brackets on here, and these brackets stick out a half a stud, so they take up that half stud problem, 
and then you lay a nice tile on it on that bracket and then this closes and it's nice and flush um, so that helps keep those things in position um, so but like I said it's optional um, and it does it's, it is going to obscure some of the view of the screen in my case I use black um, when I do it so you kind of it kind of just blends in with the frame um, and I don't like to build whatever I'm building in the computer screen super close to the edge anyways so it, it kind of works out for me um, but it is more building and um, there's there's probably some some cool things people could come up with that go right to the edge um, so uh, you 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 decide so we'll keep adding these flags and Legs, you got your nice surface and you can adjust it um, to try to smooth it out make it make it look like one nice sheet of glass um, as much as possible it's gonna have these lines on it but you don't really notice those from a distance so there we go um, so now put something inside of it what what do you want in your computer screen let me know uh, in the comments, tell me what you put inside or s send me pictures. Uh, thanks. See ya.